Play to Potential podcast. When you describe psychological safety, uh, the other piece I found interesting was you you say that it's correlated with learn how behavior in a team, as compared yes. to learn what yeah. behavior. Well, and uh, it was sure uh, super nuanced. So I'd love for you to yeah. uh, clarify this. You're referring to a study that I did with the amazing Anita Tucker, who is a professor at Boston University, and Ingrid Nemhard, who's a professor at Wharton, when they were both mm-hmm. PhD students, and we studied intensive care units in the US and Canada and all of them were actively engaged in quality improvement projects right so we were studying people who already were dedicating themselves to trying to make the the, the care delivery better and um we measured two kinds of learning behavior in these continu- you know in these improvement projects the the learning activities that they did the improvement activities that they did fell roughly into two kinds of categories and the learn the learn what category was the category of reading the literature you know you could think of this as google it right to sort of find out what do people know what's best practice what's the recipe you know for the best uh, way to do something and and then the and 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 also maybe participating in literature reviews and various other things quite um well i won't i won't, I won't say that yet um the other category was learn how where you had to do things you know you had to you had to try something you had to ask for help you had to um um be vulnerable in some way with other people whether they were in your own workplace or in another workplace where you were trying to get information from them about how they did it. And this was an amazing result, really, from a research perspective, because both of those activities, as you can well imagine, are are effortful. The people mm. have to sort of say, okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna work hard today and I'm gonna do the read the literature or or, you know, um I'm going to try something with people or I'm going to ask for help. All of that takes effort, but learn what, let's just say simply reading the literature has no interpersonal risk associated with it whatsoever. Hmm. If you wanted to Google a definition of a word you don't know, you wouldn't be embarrassed to do it because nobody knows you just did it. Whereas if you were asking a, a friend, Hey, I don't know this word. What does it mean? you might be embarrassed. And so the beauty of this result in this research was that learn how behavior, that interpersonally sensitive behavior, was absolutely related to psychological safety. If psychological safety was high, people, in this case nurses, felt able to do it. When it was low, they didn't feel able to do it. Whereas the learn what behavior, psychological safety had no impact because there's no charge to it. There's no interpersonal risk. 